In less than 12 hours, three major geological events unfolded in rapid succession. First, a new wave of thermal activity in the Yellowstone region. Then, the devastating eruption of Steamboat Geyser. And finally, Episode 32 of Hawaii's relentless eruption of Mount Kilauea. These events raised major questions among scientists and the public. Were the eruptions at Steamboat and Kilauea connected to a violent movement in the new thermal zone? Or were they all triggered by a broader tectonic system? It was a typical morning in Yellowstone National Park. A thin mist hung lazily among the pine trees, and the cool autumn air carried the aroma of wet mountain soil. In Norris Geyser Basin, the sounds of nature dominated the gurgling of hot water, small bursts of steam, and the unhurried footsteps of park rangers walking along wooden paths. But at the United States Geological Survey USGS, Geothermal Monitoring Center, the calm was short-lived. At precisely 6, 14 a.m., one of the monitoring systems in the Northwest Thermal Zone, a region that has been rocked by more than three, 000 small earthquakes in recent months returned to an extreme temperature anomaly. The numbers on the screen were rising rapidly, too rapidly. At first, we thought it was a calibration error, said Dr. Rainer Thornton, a senior geologist on the Yellowstone observation team. But then we saw similar spikes on three other sensors, all pointing to the same point, a new thermal area, where just a few months ago it had been a silent forest. The area now dubbed by scientists as Shadow Basin was once a dry, igneous area with no thermal activity recorded since the 1,980 seconds. But after a series of micro-earthquakes began shaking the region mid-year, experts recorded ground deformation, rising subsurface temperatures, and the release of volcanic gases from an unidentified vent. Now, it had reached a new plateau. The sensors recorded a rise in ground temperature from 49 degrees Celsius to 108 degrees Celsius in less than 12 minutes. Thick white steam began to emerge from the fissure, accompanied by a subtle rumbling sound, a sign that hot fluids and gases from deep within were seeking a path to the surface. We had anticipated increased activity there, but not this quickly said Dr. Thornton. This wasn't a gradual progression, this was a sudden acceleration, and that made us nervous. The field team that was deployed reported a new one, 8 meter long fissure, forming in less than an hour. Some pine trees around the fissure were beginning to turn yellow, an indication that their roots were being exposed to the heat and acidic gases. Even more surprising, seismic instruments recorded five small earthquakes in the last 40 minutes, each measuring between M1.2 and M2.9, very shallow and focused in the same spot, beneath Shadow Basin. The combination of rising hydrothermal pressure, surface fissures, and earthquake activity has made the situation at Shadow Basin one of the most closely monitored areas in all of Yellowstone right now. Scientists warn that if pressure continues to build, the possibility of a hydrothermal explosion, a sudden outburst of steam and hot mud, cannot be ruled out. Just hours after the new thermal zone in Shadow Basin began showing signs of extreme activity, including ground cracks, sulfurous steam plumes, and unprecedented temperature spikes at precisely 4.42 p.m. local time, Steamboat Geyser, the world's tallest and most unpredictable geyser, erupted with incredible force. Boiling water and superheated steam shot more than 110 meters into the air, creating a roar that could be heard several kilometers away. This eruption was one of the largest in a decade and followed closely on the heels of Shadow Basin's disturbance. 
steamboat's eruptions are notoriously unpredictable. They can remain silent for months, then suddenly erupt twice in a week. However, USGS scientists had been noting an unusual increase in underground pressure since that morning, coinciding with the anomaly occurring in the new thermal zone. This eruption is like a pressure valve being released, said Dr. Rainer Thornton, a USGS geothermal expert. With all the energy and hot fluids moving up from the ground, Steamboat appears to be the most direct outlet. The eruption lasted nearly 15 minutes, a relatively long duration even by Steamboat standards. The temperature of the water around the crater increased drastically, and the resulting column of steam formed a hot condensation cloud that floated tens of meters above the trees. Scientists are still investigating whether the steamboat eruption is directly related to the extraordinary activity occurring in a new thermal zone just a few kilometers away. However, geologically, it's likely that the two are part of a connected system of hot fluids beneath Yellowstone. While the still roar of steamboat geyser in Yellowstone still resonates with many, far to the south, Kilauea Volcano in Hawaii is demonstrating its power in an equally impressive way. In its 30-second eruption since 2023, hot lava continues to flow unabated, creating new land on the southeast coast of the Big Island. But the most spectacular is a lava fountain towering over 330 feet, about 100 meters, sending jets of fire and incandescent rock into the air with incredible force. This massive lava fountain slopes northeastward, forming a stream that rushes down the western side of the crater floor. This site is not only visually stunning, but also a clear indication of the increasing pressure of the magma underground, releasing energy at a high intensity. Seeing lava erupt this high is like watching a giant, living fire," said Dr. Leilani Moku, a volcanologist at the University of Hawaii. This isn't just an ordinary eruption, it's a direct expression of the Earth's turbulent energy. Intriguingly, Kilauea's latest surge in activity coincided almost simultaneously with an extraordinary event at Yellowstone. A new thermal zone suddenly activated, and the spectacular eruption of Steamboat Geyser. This near-synchronous phenomenon has raised a major question among scientists and observers. Is there a hidden global signal behind these two eruptions? It's hard not to notice this temporal correlation, said Dr. ASO. The two volcanoes are in very different locations and are influenced by different tectonic processes. However, it's possible that external factors such as fluctuations in Earth's gravitational field, changes in mantle pressure, or even solar activity could trigger a simultaneous response. Scientists are now exploring the possibility of subterranean communication between volcanic hotspots through widespread pressure waves and mantle vibrations. If true, then this phenomenon could be part of a larger, complex pattern, a signal that our planet is experiencing a significant geological period. <laughs>